Famous Autopsies Part 36, Dale Earnhardt, Trigger Warning, High Speed Crash. I just hope Dale's okay. I guess he's all right, isn't he? February 18, 2001 was a dark day. It was the day that NASCAR legend Dale Earnhardt died in a high-speed collision on live TV. He was competing at the Daytona 500 and was a front-runner through much of the race. At the turn for the final lap, while Dale was in third, he made contact with another car, causing him to slide off course. As he tried to regain control and get back on track, he collided with Ken Schrader, and then smashed into the retaining wall at speeds of about 155 miles per hour. His busted-up smoking car went down a steep embankment after impact. Schrader climbed out of his car and ran to check on Earnhardt. He signaled for paramedics immediately. He later stated in an interview that he knew right away that Earnhardt was dead, but he didn't want to be the one to have to say it. His body was in a very bad state. He had dried up clots and blood inside of both ears. He had various abrasions covering his face and body. He had large, dark bruises on his right hip, abdomen, and left ankle. His left ankle was also obviously dislocated. He had several ribs on his left side badly broken, including some in multiple places, as well as a fractured sternum. What killed him was his head injury. He obtained a diastotic ring fracture at the base of the skull. These fractures often extend around the skull, in areas known as sutures, which are basically the seams of the skull where the bone fuses together in childhood. With injuries like these, those seams break apart, and they almost always come along with brain injury, and he was no exception. He had a severe brain bleed in several areas that resulted in a massive amount of blood pooling between bone and brain. His cause of death is blunt force injuries to the head. The only solace is that he didn't suffer.